Okay, here we are at part three. And I'll have links to parts one and two in the description box down below. This is for the Mr. Astronaut, made in 1969 in Hong Kong. A very large plastic robot. <clears throat> in uh, part one, we take it all apart and talk about the problems. In part two, I showed how to 3D CAD up the new leg linkages and parts. And it had a uh, broken support here, so I 3D printed a new one that would fit in the same space. As you can see, here's a, a current one. The old one was snapped off down here, and I didn't have the part, so I couldn't like glue that back on. So I made a new one, stuck that in there. The lower ones are there. They've got some fine crack lines in them, but they're there. And um, the only thing that's happened since we signed off on part two is that I have uh, tacked a little bit of glue the head in place and wired the two light wires for the eyes to the flasher and I went ahead and folded over the metal tabs from the motor gearbox the next thing that goes into that area is the cardboard insert for the battery placement in this particular toy if you happen to put the batteries in backwards it would still walk and the arms would still move and the eyes would flash but you wouldn't get any clicking. Um, I also let's see which one is it? Okay, this is the original battery cover for it. You can see these pins push back on the on the battery and basically the way it works is there's a couple of slots there that these tab into and then once it's there, you're supposed to just force this over a little bit and boom, and it snaps into place. But because normally on this toy when you find it, being that it's, you know, almost 60 years old, normally this battery door cover is missing. So I went ahead and laid out one in, uh, in CAD and it should fit the same way. Yep, snaps right in place. So if you happen to have one that has the battery door missing, then this should work. I'll have to check mine out in the in the robot hut. I can't remember if one of them is missing the battery door or not. But I'll go out and check, and if it is, then, then I've got one to get that all set up. So what's left to do here is you see the, the arms. I've got these linkage pieces. And it is going to fit over that pin that we put in the new leg linkage, like so. Angle that so it'll stay there. And let's do the same thing over on this side. It kind of sits there like that. We might be able to get this, this thing put together. I think I'm ready to put this on there. Haven't tried it yet. Okay. The um, this one fits kind of loose. I don't really know what we could do about that. I'd say probably not much. I think this was the new one, the new stud one, and it's going to take a smaller screw. So let's see if I can uh, see if we can hit the hole in. Get that in there. Okay, I think it went. And the other two, well, the other three, they take a common screwdriver. And I don't think all of them are the original screws. I think these. Two that I'm putting in the bottom are probably the original screws because they're the same. And the third one up above appears to be different. Now, common is just a really bad screw to, to use when you're trying to work something that's clear down inside a recessed hole like that. It's almost impossible to hit it. But 
but it feels like it's doing something. Okay. That one felt like it snugged up. This one hasn't felt like it yet, so I don't know if I'm not hitting it or if, the, if it's stripped out. So you can see this one top one is different. It's like someone just found an old small wood screw. If it doesn't work, then I'll have to find something else. No, it feels like it's biting into something. Okay, I think I'm pretty sure that that went in there. No, I also went and uh, re-chromed all these parts: the neck, the arm, the leg, and around the the knees and on the arms because they were in pretty bad shape when they get scuffed off what's underneath is black plastic so then you see uh, a dark black area and basically what I like to use is this right here Molato liquid chrome this is the refill container it's a lot cheaper to buy this 30 millimeter refill than it is to buy their little pens that kind of remind you of a a felt tip pen. You get this and you get 30 milliliters of stuff rather than one or two and um, just apply it with a small paintbrush, a wet coat and it'll, uh, it'll smear, it'll flow out and give a very nice finish. Okay I need a couple of batteries. This puppy takes details. Let's uh, pop those in there. And let's get the cover. There we go. All right. It's showtime. I believe it's going to be a fast water. And it is. Here, this one arm would work better when it gets in the area where it's tight. When it's down here it kind of feels kind of loose on its uh, deal so you almost have to maybe keep this one up in the air. I guess you could put them both up and go for some sort of action shot. Like that. But he really strides right along. Good clicker, good lights, good strobe. So I'll um, get the files, in case someday somebody needs them, and I'll put them up on Thingiverse for the Mr. Astronaut. And that way if you ever end up needing the uh, leg linkage parts and want to need to repair that, you'll be able to do it. I think that concludes our rebuild of the Mr. Astronaut.